Hey, Miss Lady School, how you doing? Welcome, everybody. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Hey. Finally, the Super Bowl is here, y'all. For all of y'all who, you know, are football fans. <laughs> Even if your team isn't playing, anybody who loves football will most likely be watching the Super Bowl today. <laughs> So let me know how y'all doing. I just tuning in with y'all. Um, just for a little pre-football show chit-chat. If y'all football fans of either of the teams, let me know who y'all got. Let me know who y'all got. I'm just up here sharing the uh sharing a link to the live on my Facebook and stuff. Sharing it on my Twitter and stuff. Please make sure you like the video, you guys. Please make sure you subscribe if you are not already a subscriber. And share the video, if you like. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> but y'all, um, I'm just up here cooking a little finger foods for the Super Bowl. I think I had titled the, titled the um, chat. Hold on one second, y'all. Hello? And the uh, veggie tray? Yep, paper towels and veggie tray. That's the only thing we're missing. All right, bye. Sorry about that. That was my son. You love the Michigan teams? Well, let me show y'all something. And y'all let me know what y'all uh, heating up in the kitchen or on the grill or, you know, whatever. Y'all, uh, y'all got going on? Like I said, we're just doing a little, uh, you know, finger foods. Nothing, nothing huge, nothing huge. It's just me and my sons. Just me and my sons. Matter of fact, that was my son who just, uh, called in. I had forgot a few things at the store. So, uh, he's at the store picking up a few things let me just share this and also but yeah I'm just doing some uh some hot honey wings and some you know nachos Hot honey wings, some nachos, like some beanie weenies, chips and dip. Uh, we got some veggie trays, some meat trays. It's just basically, you know, some finger foods. Nothing big. If the weather was a little warmer here, I probably would have, um, I probably would have, you know, turned that grill on. But I ain't, it's wet outside. It was super cold, then it got warm, then the snow melted, so it's just a muddy mess outside. So I'm not getting out there on the grill. But hold on, y'all. Let me show you something real quick. Can y'all see? <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> this is what my bestie got me last year before the Super Bowl. She lives in Florida. That's the top of the, it's like a little cover. I'm trying to roll it up. And at the bottom, It says Patriots. <laughs> so that's <laughs> that's what my bestie got me. Um, for that's what my bestie got me. Um, like I said before, last Super Bowl. So that was my gift. It was actually a um, birthday gift. 
or a Christmas gift. I can't remember because my birthday and Christmas is only like four days apart. So, <laughs> yep, that's what she got me. But again, let me know what y'all got on the stove. I'm over here. Let me put some, uh, some Velveeta for the nachos to put in the uh, crock pot. Velveeta, I ain't bougie or nothing. And I ain't, you know, want to always do name brand. But, I don't mess around with no off-brand cheese. No offense to those who do. And I done tried off-brand cheeses before. Mostly it was because of recommendations for other people. Oh, well, try this brand. Or this store has a good brand of off-brand cheese. Or, I stick with Kraft. Velveeta. You know, I just, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. And then I'll be so mad the few times where I have done off-brand. And I'm like, it's just not working right with the food that I'm making. So, I didn't learn to stick with what I like best and not to alter. But, yeah. So, anyway. Anyway, I'm just sitting here. Uh, got the TV on in the background, listening to some pre-Super Bowl, uh, talk on the, um, TV from the sportscasters and everything. And I was like, let me go live and see what everybody doing right now on this Super Bowl Sunday. You said that's the best? Mm-hmm. Yes, baby. I swear. It is. And I can do different things off-brand. Everything I buy is not name brand. Please believe me. It's not. But there's a certain things that I just can't mess around with. And cheese is one of them. <laughs> cheese is one of them. I'm just up here cutting up my cheese. For my, uh, for the opposite way of the camera. <laughs> I'm just up here cutting up my cheese to go into this, these nachos. And basically it's nacho cheese dip. You know, some people make theirs, you know, uh, different. A lot of people make, probably make theirs different. But I just mainly use cheese and, um, I use some, uh, What's that, uh, hold on, let me grab a can. Uh, where, oh, Rotel. Rotel dip. I love me some Rotel dip. 
And I got the name brand today, but I have used off brand, uh, off brand Rotel style dip before from like maybe Aldi's or something like that. And it worked pretty well. It worked pretty well. And that was just, you know, I was in the store. I wanted to make some nachos or whatnot. And I was there and it was there. And I was like, you know, let me try it out. And so I've, I've used that a few times, the off brand uh, Rotel dip. And it's pretty okay. It's pretty okay. But if y'all got something going on this Super Bowl Sunday, let me know what you got going on. If you're watching the game, are you not watching the game? Is your team playing? Is your team not playing? <laughs> and even if your team isn't playing, um, like I said, some people, you know, who really love football or love the sport or just love watching, you know, the Super Bowl for all the commercials and for the halftime, you know, whatnot. Um, if you have a team that you're rooting for, you know, let me know your team. And I think my grease is ready. Hold on, let me put this. Yes. And my good old seasoned flour. one-on-one -on -one. people who don't wash their hands while they are cooking <laughs> that is such a pet peeve like you just go back and forth through your kitchen washing touching different foods and you know but you know how it is. Everybody who say they sanitary ain't sanitary. And that's why a lot of people don't participate in um, 
and cookouts, like at work, like potlucks. They don't eat everybody's food if they haven't, you know, personally spent time around them and know their, you know, habits or whatnot. But I'm the same way. I'm the same way. I haven't participated in a cookout, in, I mean, a potluck at work in so long. <laughs> At any job, and so long after one time I worked at this one job, and I swear, right hand to God, every time a particular lady who always participated in the potluck came out the bathroom, she would not wash her hands. Never, never wash her hands. It was the talk. <laughs> It was the talk of our department because I wasn't the only one to witness it. And I was like, hell no. Let me put my cheese in my crock pot. Like, hell no. Okay, I gotta grab the Rotel.
was the star-spangled banner Go on, Gladys. I'm just peeking into my living room. <laughs> I love me some Gladys. The home of the brave. Woo! They about to get it started. They about to get it started. You said don't wash your hands is a serious no-no. You can't. Girl! Who you telling? I can't do it. I can't do it. Especially when you got different foods like we only got tonight chicken, um, chicken, hamburger. Uh, we got some beanie weenies. We got, you know, just different finger foods. But still, you got to clean up between touching each different foods. And a lot of people don't do that. I mean, it's common sense, but y'all know how common sense ain't so common <laughs> to some people. <laughs> you said Dr. Oz tested his audience phone and found Fisa. Ooh, ooh, you know what? I think I remember that episode. Was that a while ago, Miss Lady Scoop? I think I do remember that episode. Oh, mm -hmm. girl. I don't know. I don't know. That's because people ain't washing their hands. They not washing their hands properly. Especially after you come out the bathroom. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, somebody just... Before baby shower, February 17th. She wants a white and gold tear cake. Fancy, elegant, like Kylie Jenner. White with gold tear cake. She says she would consider putting some rattles or whatever on it. What do you think that could cost? Oh, somebody just inboxed me about a cake order. They said their daughter wants a fancy gold and white tiered cake. And how much do I think it might cost? Hmm. Tiered cakes are expensive. Hey, other son. My other son on the way to me? Oh, Lord. And then somebody else sent me on my cake decorating page. What's this message say? Hi, I was wondering... Am I last minute? Can you add a cake order for February 10th? You got some new news. You got some what? Some news. What news? Me, Adrian, and Mitchell want the rounds going. So, you so the I'm the only one going for the Patriots and all the rest of y'all going for the rounds? Wow. Too, you know? Wow. I'm all alone, y'all. I'm all alone, y'all. It always, it never fails. I'll be going for one team, and my sons be going for a different team. Lord, I better win. <laughs> I better win, or they gonna cut me up. They gonna cut me up. They gonna be talking mad cash for like the rest of the year. <laughs> but that's how we do. We have fun, little, you know. Oh, hold up. I'm sorry. I'm getting all these messages for cake orders. Jeez. I don't really have any cake orders coming up soon, so. But I usually don't get them all at once, unless it's around like a holiday or a uh, holiday or um like graduation season, something like that. But matter of fact, I'm going to put my cake link on this uh I haven't shared my cake link on my uh, YouTube videos in a while. So let me see if I can go ahead and share that real quick. 
sometimes it don't let you post links on your lives. It, it allows you to post it um, on your in the comment section after the live is over, but uh oh. It let me post it. It let me post it. Oh, oh. Okay, there it is. My Facebook cake decorating page link is in the chat, y'all. So check me out. I'm a personal uh, custom cake designer. So, you know, check out that page and you can check out some of my work. But anyway, the game is about to start. They done sung the national anthem. I'm about to finish cooking my Super Bowl. Uh, dinner, and I hope you guys, whoever team, if you're going for anybody, I hope your team wins. Good luck. And everybody enjoy their evening. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the halftime show. And be blessed. <laughs> be blessed. And in the meantime and in the between time, as usual, primetime squad, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out. Deuces.